So I've been lucky enough to test out the Revo Point range scanner. Now it's a 3D scanner that is Wi-Fi enabled, which means you can just carry it around and use an iPhone to scan 3D objects. Sick, let's go have a look. This is a quick time lapse of the process of doing the 3D scan on this window seal and then kind of processing. Now this was about a five minute job and here we go. We can look at the street and this is the window seal that I had 3D scanned. The phone was still processing at the time. But I just kind of wanted to show you the detail of the bit that I was scanning. And then I'll do now a comparison straight from my phone. So we've already processed it, we've rendered it. And look at that. It looks, it looks pretty legit without any post processing. Yeah, that's good. Cool. From here, I moved into a different section of Sydney. This is right near Town Hall. And I wanted to do a nice 3D scan of a ground place. And I found this nice packet of leaves. So let's have a look at this one that we took in front of the, the, the step on the ground. Now bringing it across from the phone, all I have to do is import from phone, have the app open and be on the same Wi-Fi network, put in the code and it'll automatically transfer. Oh my goodness, that is such a simple system. Well done. Now in this one, there's been no post-processing done yet. Just the raw rendering, the fuse, and now let's create the mesh. So I'm just gonna hit apply. Blah, 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 blah. And so this mesh you know, it's turned out quite well. Now, obviously I didn't scan underneath the leaves, but uh, that's that's pretty schnazzy. Let's go uh, textured. Yeah, let's apply that mesh as well. Yeah. And now that that's done, let's just export it as an OBJ. Mm, textured model, please. Save type will be OBJ. Leaf ground. And here we are in Blender. Let's delete everything. File import OBJ into downloads and leaf grrr, import and obviously the orientation and it's a little bit big so let's go scale 0 0.01 rotate x 90 degrees oh gosh let's kind of realign it now we know that the mesh is probably going to be super dense and if you come to the top here and turn on statistics there it is two million faces so let's go into uh, the modifiers add modifier we're going to go into decimate well actually first let's have a look at the material and that is looking very very crisp indeed so what we might do first is go into edit mode press m merge by distance and we'll see if we clear up any vertices four okay so the face count is 1.4 million yep so i'm going to change that down to 0.1 just for now and doing a quick comparison, we don't see really much difference in the quality bringing it down. But now if we go from uh, the full quality to this is 0.1, which is 140,000, and here is 14,000. Still, there's not that much of a quality difference, which is absolutely awesome. Now back in here, we can fill the holes if we really wanted to as well. Um, we could even do an auto edit. I would kind of go through everything and make sure all the settings are correct. I mean, you can do all this in Blender like we have, but you can see here that we just got good quality without doing squat. Let's bring in one of our other objects. Now we've got one of these pieces. Now it's really important, as I mentioned before, that flat planes aren't going to work and also symmetrical pieces aren't going to work. The device, the application is going to have issues because it doesn't know which way is which. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but once again, here we are. Let's just go simplify the mesh. And I'm just going to hit apply. Let's go into auto edit now and just go apply, smash through it. And you can see that we've got, yeah, quite a bit of definition here on the mesh. Let's, uh, maybe I just want to smooth this mesh out. Yeah, go on. Apply the texture mapping, please. Uh, yes, please. And now let's just go ahead and export over into Blender, file, import, OBJ. Uh, with it selected, it's 0 0.01. Let's uh, rotate that around. Get a little bit bigger. And then once again, we can go through the same process we did here. Add modify, decimate, 0 0.01. Control A, apply that. And now we can go ahead and start building up a scene however we want. I do wish I had more time in Sydney to be able to scan some more assets, but this is definitely going to be added into my tools of Arsenal. Arsenal of tools? Arsenal of tools. Uh, and I look forward to providing some really cool 3D assets as they become available on the Patreon. I'll also show you the mesh density. So this is without the decimate. And then we've got the 0.1 and then the 0.1 mesh. And 
looking at the textures, you can see there's not much of a difference.